Bitch, I'm really him. Don't believe me? Come and see me. Got three witches from my genie. Now I'm on your local TV. Y'all on Toga, bitch, you screaming. Say she wanna come and see me when I'm in a local city. I'm like, pause though. Please step aside so they can see me. And I walk up in this bitch like, yeah, I'm really him. Talking my shit like. What's poppin' and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, it's a sunny day here in Stockholm, Sweden. It's like 27 degrees, feels like goddamn Spain. We have not so many exciting things to do during the day. We're just packing some orders here in Abrisbrik and it's a Monday. So there's been quite a few that come in over the weekend. But in the afternoon slash evening is when we have this fun stuff to do. So we have a couple of um, reporting things to do, which I'm gonna show you a little bit about, just so you know that if you're planning to start your own business. And we have a couple of meetings as well. This morning I hit the gym and it's always fun to hit the gym when you've started a new program. I just downloaded this Thirst app, it's called. It's by Mike Thurston, this guy, ripped as hell. But uh, he's just a fun YouTuber that I've been watching for quite some time and he has this app and I thought, I like apps, I like hitting the gym, I like YouTube, why not support this guy? I mean, it's a pretty good app. I mean, there's uh, definitely a couple of things that can be improved with the UI and the UX. For example, a lot of the, I can see that they're using Flutter and they're using a lot of the material uh, Google stuff on iOS, which is better if it's localized to the Cupertino library. So Mike Thurston, if you're watching this, that's a pro tip. Well, not really pro tip, you probably have a pro tip in this app. But you get what I mean. Uh, but it's a very nice app. It has different workouts. I'm on the Ibiza warm up, the plan that I'm hitting it's called. And it was a pretty good workout. It took exactly an hour. You can track your workouts, you can track your stuff. But enough about that. Let's get changed and continue with the day. And then I'll see you in the afternoon. Day in the store is done. That looked like it passed fast, but it was actually quite a lot of stuff to do. And uh, the thing you saw there at the end was a meeting with a very big incubator in Europe. We're facing some kind of business um, model issues, and essentially the problem that we're debating is should we do an API, which is completely different from the business models that we have right now. It adds another level of complexity of stuff that we need to maintain in the code base, i.e. every time we make an update to the database, we will also need to update the API and making sure that all of that works. Secondly, it's not that much money. It's probably $2,000 per year or so for one customer, and we don't know the opportunity how many customers we could bring on that have similar programs to the one we're speaking to where they could integrate this API seamlessly. So my view is that we don't do this. I think it would be very stupid to do this, but I'm gonna speak to my uh, business partner, see what he thinks. But now we're on my way to pick up the, the girlfriend and then we're gonna be doing all of the reporting uh, tonight. So let's get to it. Like 1,250 euros per uh, per year. Which yeah. Would be, uh, <laughs> it's pretty uh, much the same. But also, yeah, that would be like 100 euros per month for 500 users. Yeah, Ex yeah, exactly. And then he would make it, yeah, make that kickback too. But what we also got to consider is the fact that once we decide to add an API in like type of solution into the mix, that's gonna half the speed of development of all future features, or not all future, but all features that have to do with the database or the the structure of the how we store data in the app because then every time we maintain or change something in the app we're also gonna have to maintain and change the APIs reach out to their teams for them to integrate it so I think there's a hidden cost there or a hidden opportunity cost there in how much we're gonna have to spend in terms of time on developing future features just because we'll have to change everything double <laughs> Okay. Okay, so it's a couple of hours later. Now, this is if you start a business, don't do what I do. I wait about half a year, then I go through all of the transactions on my bank account and I account for them. So I've spent like two hours doing all the accounting and run through all the transactions. And now we're gonna do the yearly report. But first of all, I'm gonna take my girlfriend out for a walk because she needs it. <laughs> and I'll check back with you after that and show you how easy it is to uh, do your yearly and or book. Keeping and Sweden using all the distance services that we have. Every other week, niggas stop behind my back. I kick my feet up, have a seat. Cause at the end of the day, all these niggas watching me as I walk up in this bitch like, yeah, I'm really him. Okay, so it's one in the morning. I got caught up with some other stuff. I was meant to do and show how to do yearly reporting for accounting. But I did not do that because I got caught up with some other things. But let me show you what I have done. So we've been spawning a little bit on 
Venture Pals new features and we have a couple of ones for the 2.0 launch that we're gonna be prioritizing over the next few days so that's exciting but today was a boring vlog there wasn't really that much going on I didn't really show that much so I figured we're gonna make this the first two-day vlog of the series so we're gonna pick this up tomorrow morning where we have a regular day in our brisk week and I'm gonna show you a little bit about the launch of the bag um, as well as some other stuff and then in the evening we will get to both the reporting as well as working a little bit on Rumi and talking about about these uh, features. So instead of seeing the next one, see you tomorrow. Okay, and that is it. I had a timer up here the whole time. Seven minutes and 51 seconds is all it takes to submit a focus, God damn it! Is all it takes to submit a yearly report in Sweden, which is just incredible. Like, when you do these things and do business in a country like this, like, how can other countries compete? How can you <clears throat> possibly in a fair way compete with someone where you have to do all of this on paper? You have to send it in by mail. Someone needs to read through it, they need to check it. It's so much simpler. I have to do all the accounting, obviously, which you have to do in any place, but then I can do my reporting using an online service that costs 1,500 Swedish crowns, which is around 150 euros, to do this in seven minutes. It's unbeatable. How can anyone compete with this? How can there be one, how can there be any country where that's better or easier to do business than in Sweden? Maybe this is a future video I should make about why, why you should do business in Sweden. But now we're gonna have coffee and we're also gonna have what we call breakfast. The breakfast that I typically have is a cup of coffee, one of these protein bars, and uh, then I get to work. We have some stuff to do today. We have the Palm U launch. They should be arriving anytime soon. They're a little bit late, so I'm, I gotta figure out a good way to communicate this to all of the people who have pre-ordered. Uh, but also, we have some stuff to do regarding the midsummer party that we had last week, and I have a lot of stuff to do for room meeting. Alright, so I'm about to end the probably the worst vlog yet on this channel. It completely lacked story, it completely lacked direction, whatever, whatever. It was over two days. I did some vlogging this morning of me doing the reporting thing and like bragging about how easy it is to do accounting in Sweden. And then I did a whole day in Arbris Bleken, very similar to yesterday, which is why I didn't think it was any, any fun to film. Went to the gym, did some errands, and then I've been at my girlfriend's place for like three hours. But here I have been working on a feature on Rumi or the other app that I'm working on through my bureau um, to sync with the calendar. Let me show you quickly what this looks like. So now the UI is pretty ugly. This wasn't really a UI type of day, but I've fixed all these functions where you can authenticate with Google API. You can get access to the device's calendar and when you sync with Apple. Now this doesn't work on the simulator actually, so I need to uh, test it on the actual phone, but I get no errors, so it really should work because it does direct you to the settings section. Um, but what then happens is that inside of the main function of the app, every time you essentially run the app, so every time you start it again or every time you do anything which um, changes the state of the main app in and of itself, you sync all of the events. And when you sync all of the events, you fetch all of the stuff that you have on Rumi, i.e. these events that you see on the front page, and you update them to your calendar. So that should be a pretty good feature. But now I'm gonna not gonna make you watch any more of this uh, of this particular vlog as yeah, it's not really quality. But tomorrow, <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying at the same time. Tomorrow we will be uh, talking a little bit about, and I'll show you. I'll show you a little bit how I managed to get all the pre-orders for my Palm U bag, which is the other product that I'm doing, the physical product that I'm launching. So that should be quite an exciting day. Then we're going to Costco in the evening. We'll see if we vlog that or not, probably not. And just doing some general work. But if you, despite the lack of quality in this vlog, want to keep on watching these things, then feel free to subscribe. It's completely free of charge. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.